hey everyone welcome back to another video from new york city today is march 14 2022 and temperature is currently 52 degree fahrenheit and it is 11 degrees celsius and it's 6 30 pm new york time and i'm here at lexington avenue and east 77th street basically i just get out from the train six train and let's start this video from 77th street so this particular area is basically upper east side so i will head toward down via lexington avenue so i hope you will enjoy this video and this would be a wonder walk i mean i do not have any specific direction or location to share i just roam around or strolling around manhattan and try to show you guys the life of manhattan in this monday evening and i hope you will enjoy it and as usual if you just join then do not forget to hit that like button for me so we can move forward hey adrian p melanie gray 1954 Yankees, Javira, Valerie HA, Mark S from UK, Hey Ronnie C, NEF, Danny Danny, Marcy. I'm doing pretty fine. Thanks for asking. And I'm glad to see you guys are joining here. Hey Ali C, welcome. So without further ado, let's begin our walk. So this is basically the Lenox Hill but it's Upper East Side. So Upper East Side always one of my favorite neighborhood to roam around and it's a great neighborhood overall. Hey Alex, hello and welcome. Hey Rob. Hi Henry. The weather is getting better. So it's so far very pleasant warm weather. Hey Nana no, hello and welcome. Do Alejandro, hello. I love this architecture here in this building. It's quite nice. And if you head towards this direction, it will lead you to the third avenue. But if you head towards right, that will be Park Avenue. That direction is Park Avenue. But I'm heading straight. Hey Josh, hello. Hey Jack CC. Welcome. Ruby Falcon saying beautiful Monday evening there in Manhattan. Hope you are enjoying this day. Yes, so far I'm enjoying the environment. So far it's so good. And I hope you will enjoy this stroll as well. Hey Ballon, hello and good evening. Hey Bob Kish, glad to see you here my friend. I think I'll cross the street and head toward Third Avenue. Shannon, it's my pleasure. And I'm glad to see you all here joining and enjoying this video. It's a very peaceful walk. These townhouses look pretty decent. This is how it's looked like basically. Some sort of old vibes you will find into these townhouses. Not bad.
Hey Freddy, hello! I always enjoy my walk into this particular area I mean Upper East Side it's always so interesting so as I said up ahead is 3rd Avenue then 2nd Avenue so let's walk into 3rd Avenue and head towards town via 3rd Avenue Hey Juan Pedro, hello! So this is East 57th Street and 3rd Avenue I'm heading to a down. Alex said, how do you feel about switching back daylight saving time? It feels great. I have more time. I mean, it's better. It's better than winter time. I'm enjoying so far. It's giving me more time to come out and explore with you guys while it's sun or while it's light outside. Thank you, Danny. Danny, appreciate it. Bali walks a shop saying, what time is there right now? So right now, I think it's... Uh, it's 6.35 p.m. New York time. And around 7, it would be sunset. So I still have 22 minutes left, left till sunset. So plenty of time. To roam around Suleiman saying how can you tell if you are going north or south on which on each street without seeing the next sign it's pretty tough to uh, say without seeing the sign but now I'm more used to because I am living here for a long time so I know that but without seeing the sign you can you can't basically tell which direction you are heading so it's tough hey Nico NBA hello hey CC CC saying will NYC have a parrot on St. Patrick's Day on Thursday I hear they will have a parrot yeah I hear that but I haven't pretty sure but I know they will head up at it for sure hey Jenny tip Tom hello and in this neighborhood basically we'll find some pretty good restaurant for example across the street there is a restaurant as well with some outdoor dining space so this type of neighborhood it's pretty pretty interesting to explore apart from all this touristy area i would say and another good thing about these types of neighborhood is you will find lots of small business lots of entrepreneur making their way in new york city as well Hey Marco, hello and welcome. This is East 77th Street and 3rd Avenue. Hey, how are you? Uh, Yes, I'm live right now, so I'm kind of busy. The, live? Yeah, on YouTube. Really? Are you yeah. famous? Uh, I'm not so sure. You can check yeah, it out. What's your name? My channel name, New York City Walking Show. Hi, New York City Walking Show. 
Shopping Show. So my name is Camly. I'm here with UBCF, United Breast Cancer on 72nd and 3rd Ave. Come donate. Anything helps? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy, guys. That was pretty cool. Some uh, friendly people. By the meantime, let's see if I miss anyone comment. Hey, Gigi and YC, hello and welcome. Bob saying St. Patrick Day Parade is Thursday, 11 a.m. 5th Avenue and 44th Street to 79th Street. Yeah, that's what I I guess so as well. Thanks for the information. Has a good camera personality. Yes, indeed she does. Very friendly. And that's a nice cause. Of course, breast cancer is a very severe stuff. So yeah. But I feel hesitated when people ask me about, are you famous? I'm not so famous, so, but I had decent amount of viewers from across the globe. So yeah. And I have decent amount of followers as well so I I don't know how to answer this kind of question but it's always funny when people ask this kind of question anyway let's continue our walk Danny Danny is saying yes how about safety in the city recently uh, New York City has some incident recently but it doesn't make New York City unsafe at all because I am walking around New York City all the time using public transportation nothing bad happened to me so far thanks God but yeah in nowadays the crime rate is a bit higher in every section but still New York City is pretty safe and if you want to visit New York City I will highly highly recommend you should visit but as always you should have to be careful in your surrounding it doesn't matter if you're in New York City or in somewhere else you always had to <coughs> excuse me you always had to just look your surrounding and have to be still alert that's all I could say In this area, I do see lots of apartments, building. Hey Brian, walking, hello. Bob is saying lots of police in Manhattan. You can always find one if needed. Yeah, of course, not only in Manhattan. I do see nowadays police are pretty active in all five bros, I guess they are quite active and they are trying their best to redeem the number of crime or the uprising crime in New York City and as I said still New York City is one of the best city and one of the best place you can be hey Thomas hello and good evening Oh wow, look at this cute rabbit. It's not Easter, but still the sign is up. Happy Easter. It's very cute. Hey Richard, watching from Atlanta. Thank you. 
Yeah, Freddy, exactly. That's what I mean. Crime is everywhere. You just had to be allowed. Nico saying, if you think that New York City is dangerous, you should visit Berlin. I know, my friend, what do you mean? That's true. Every big city has some dark secret. Dark, dark secret. This time is the best to walk because everything seems pretty drama. I mean, see, there is a police car. Everything looks pretty fantastic, like golden, golden vibes everywhere. Before sunset, everything looks so, so pretty. Hey, Jenny, hello from North Carolina, Miss New York. Another pizza shop right here. It's a good pizza shop. Indeed. Yeah, Bob. Next week the weather is pretty, pretty good. And I can feel it already. So this is East 66th Street and 3rd Avenue. I think I can cross since no car is coming. Thomas saying it was very warm in New Jersey today. Oh yeah, so far in New York it was pretty pretty nice weather. Jaka said my dream city please go to United Nations headquarters area. I'm not too sure about that in this video I could go towards that area but in upcoming days I will definitely make a video in that particular area. Wow, this building at the corner of East 65th Street and 3rd Avenue is pretty tall. Nico said, in which bro do you live, Sepat? I live in Queens. Queen's guy. Liko said greeting from Miami. Hey, greetings. Alex said Sipat is our king of queens. Thank you. And as you can see, the bats are start forming. So in a week or so, this tree will have some bloom. Zoom and see. So bats are start forming. So soon this tree will be full of leaves and it will be pretty, pretty decent. I just love it. So this type of stuff really gives me hope that spring is finally coming. It's on their way. Uh, I am on 3rd Avenue right now. It's 3rd Avenue. Third Avenue and East 64th Street. And as you can see from here, 432 Park Avenue. It's quite visible. Yeah, Freddy, I can't wait for Cherry Blusion. Wow. I had so many places to show you guys, to share with all of you. I just can't wait for this spring. 
okay, Mary. Everything is going great. So far, so good. Thank you, Jaka, for joining us from Somalia. I like these kind of small vendors. They sell different types of stuff, but this particular vendor selling fruits and vegetables in a very decent rate, of course. It's not that expensive like grocery store. So that's why some people showing interest and this is good. Oh yeah, Bob Keys, I love too. Central Park is awesome and amazing. In Third Avenue, you will find lots of modern apartments along with some old style apartments as well. Yeah, Christian, it's a bit cheaper. It's not too cheap, but it's a bit cheaper. Brian walking said please if I walk again in Brian Park I'll definitely try to stop at Brian Park because I hear that in Brian Park for the first time they will have a spring holiday market so I'm quite excited for that this is the first time Brian Park will have spring market so I'm pretty excited and I want to see the progress if they start making that market or not so I'll definitely take a stop at Bryant Park for sure. Hey, Michelle K, hello. Hey, Brenda, hello and welcome. Gigi said she would love to buy fruits of street vendors too, helps them economically grow as well. Oh yeah, for sure, it will definitely help them because everyone is having a time so it's our responsibility to support our small business in any way we can hey greeting hello Hey George Dean, hello and welcome. Thomas said, any plan for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, if I had enough time, I'll definitely try to make a video and try to cover that event, hopefully. Hey Davey, hello and welcome. via East 60th Street let head towards 2nd Avenue so I can show you a pretty cool stuff Roosevelt Island tram so basically using a metro card and the ferry is two dollar and 75 cents you can go to uh, basically Roosevelt Island so the tram connect Manhattan and Roosevelt Island and it costs you two dollar and 75 cents so I'll show you that it's at the corner of 2nd Avenue and East 59th Street but before I do that, let's check out this building. It's it's called lipstick building. It's kind of look like a lipstick. Hey, Tani. Hello and welcome. I think I had just a few seconds to cross the street, but I will make it. 
Hey, so we are Khan. Hello. Greetings from Germany. Perfect. There are so many food in Manhattan that my favorite. I do not have any specific food. Hey, Anderson. Hello and welcome. And here is always a line outside of this particular shop. Frozen hot chocolate outside of this place. There is always line, always. Okay, guys, I do have reservations coming in. And they need to make a reservation in order to go in. There's always line like that. This is the tram station at the corner of 2nd Avenue and East 60th Street. So basically, this tram connects uh, Roosevelt Island and Manhattan. And that's the Queensboro Bridge right up there. And the tram will cost you $2.75 and you need to have a Metro card. I had few videos up on my channel I ride this tram and came from Roosevelt Island to Manhattan it's a quite fun experience honestly yeah Bob frozen hot chocolate sounds very interesting I know it there is always line outside of that particular shop Is there any tram? Oh yeah, here is one. I think it will be moved shortly. Let's wait to see. Oh, it start moving right now. No gray, not in this video. I'll not make a ride into this tram, but hopefully in upcoming days. Hey, Angel from Germany. So this is a tram basically. I'm just waiting here to see it's moving and how it's operate I just want to show you guys it looks so cool so cool and this direction is the Queens Pro Bridge that's connect Queens and Manhattan it's right there hey ginger with $15 super chat hey blue ginger thank you so much thanks for the support as always I really appreciate it. thank you so much you are such a great person always support the channel in whatever way you can thank you so much thanks for the support once again thank you Shriniam saying hi can you show how to take a tram from Manhattan to Roosevelt Island I'll show you how to take it and this is the tram basically it's pretty fun it's pretty fun so as I said in order to take this tram you need a metro card and the fare will cost you two dollar and seventy five cents so now I'll show you how you can get in it's same as subway ride I'll show you now hey Maria K welcome my friend so they had a same metro card booth I just quickly show you guys how you can take this ride so you will not get lost
so yeah wow the moon is quite nice so as i said here you can see this is the entrance for the tram if you don't have metro card you can buy one from here using this vending machine or if you had a metro card you can swipe and you can get inside and as you can see people are waiting that's all it's nice and simple it's the same subway turn style you need a metro card cost two dollar and 75 cents that's that's simple it is it's nothing fancy and it will directly go the one stop it's roosevelt island I hope that sounds helpful. Hey, Action Kid, my friend is here. Yes, you are correct. It doesn't take O M N Y, means that uh, tap and go system. That doesn't have that tap and go system yet. So, yeah. I don't know why they doesn't upgrade the system yet they should upgrade it no Bob Kish I can't use my Apple watch here as my friend action kit saying that this tram doesn't accept Omni card or Apple pay or any sort of tap and go system that doesn't allow that yet hopefully in upcoming days they will upgrade it yeah i know okay this should they should upgrade it because nowadays tap and pay is very convenient and now the tram is coming it's right here so basically two tram is operating this line but this is very convenient very convenient and very fun way to see Manhattan skyline you will get a pretty good view of Manhattan skyline from this tram for sure hey Eric hello and welcome So this is 2nd Avenue. In 2nd Avenue you will find also lots of restaurant and dining space. Wow, this building right here is quite tall. And the view of 432 Park Avenue is not bad. Brenda said tulips are one of the first sign of springs for sure for sure and tulip is one of my favorite flowers as well I love tulips especially white tulips white tulips are but I do love yellow and other varieties of tulip but white tulip sounds pretty interesting and very unique to me as well and in Central Park, you will see lots of tulip as well. But I had a plan that I will go to a farm, a tulip farm in April or whenever they will be open and try to show you guys that farm as well. So stay tuned for that. I will not reveal the farm name or anything. But I had a plan that I will go to a tulip farm. There you will see thousands of tulips are blooming so hang tight for that video oh wow second avenue is quite busy the 
Grace it comes to Amsterdam for the tulip farm. I'll not go too far, but there is a very cool farm. I will go there. Bob said my mo mother was Dutch and her house in Queens had tulips all around. I know many people in Queens, including my home, I had so many tulips all around my home. I just plant tulip bulbs. Yeah, Netherlands is the perfect place for tulips. The Kokenham. Kokenhof, I guess. Holland. It is not Netherlands, it's Holland. Kokenhof is the best place to see the tulip farm. I mean the tulips, basically, not farm. Falcon said that would be beautiful yeah I know right I want to do that video last year but due to the COVID-19 restriction I can't do that but this year I'll definitely do that so this is East 56th Street and 2nd Avenue Since we are talking about flowers, look at that. We found a flower shop. It's a deli, but most of the deli had flower shop. Let's check them out. Hey, Kalas, hello and welcome. Let's see if we could find some tulips here in this flower shop. I guess we'll not find any tulips right now, but we'll definitely find some other flowers as well. Oh, I do see some tulips. There are some tulips. <laughs> we had other types of flowers. We had lilies. But we do have tulips as well, as you can see. $8 for a single stick of tulips. The yellow one is pretty nice. Hey, excuse me. Oh. There are different types of tulips. I found the white tulips as well. Hey, my friend. So each tree is one eight dollar, right? For the yeah. tulip. Yeah, one bunch. One. Oh. Oh, one bunch is eight dollar. Okay, got it. So it's a pretty good deal. I love these white tulips. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, people are buying flowers. So it's pretty nice to check out all this flower shop. I always does that. I had a mistake that I thought that just one stick is eight dollar. No, it's a whole bunch of uh, tulips, like six or seven tulips combined, cost eight dollar. Yeah, Holland is the only country that uh, export lots of flower all over to the world. Not only tulip, Holland is the only place they export the highest amount of flower in the world. So without Holland, we will not have flowers at all. And as I said, there is a place called Kokenhof in Holland that's the best place to explore Tulip Festival wow this restaurant is quite lovely hey Aiden from Scotland hey Michael Mick hello and welcome
Yeah, Netherlands is also quite well known for flower export. But Holland is the most uh, Wow, that's the lipstick building I was mentioning earlier. The lipstick building. Hey Dave, hello and welcome. Stylish bunny, hello and welcome. Marco said, do you ever eat out? Yes, I do eat out, but off camera. <laughs> I don't have food experience unless I want to do that. While I'm doing live stream, I usually not focus to show you guys the area or the places I want to share. And after that, whenever I had time, then I eat. And feel free to let me know if you had any specific question regarding to New York City or New York City uh, travel. I'll try my best to answer. Oh wow, look at these two dogs. They're saying hi to each other. These breeds are very cute. I love this type of dogs. There is an Italian restaurant across the street. It's called Mimi's. It's right there. As I said, in Second Avenue, we will find tons of restaurants. No, nowadays, uh, basically, restaurant doesn't check vaccination proof because that vax mandate is lift off and also max mandate is lift up as well oh my god what's going on here so much rush oh my gosh look at that it was crazy what the heck she will definitely hit that guy right here hey daryl welcome my friend did you see this is how the drivers can be in New York City. Yeah, Michael, make that red car was flying and that was driving by a female driver. So I always stay away from female drivers because most of the incident does by female drivers. Sorry to say that, but this is the truth. Said he said best place for vehicle and locks. I think in each side, east village, you will find some place. So that's why sometimes it's dangerous to jaywalk because some drivers can be crazy. Dave said, are all COVID restrictions gone in New York City? Mostly, mostly gone. You do not need to wear face masks unless the business place require that. 
and you do not need to show vaccination proof in indoor dining unless the uh, business owner uh, make a recommend so the temperature is right now uh, 52 degree Fahrenheit hey pizza man hello and welcome and we're like what do you recommend both side of the street all of these are restaurant here at second avenue avs diary hello and welcome different types of restaurant here in second avenue look at this view from here Pisora Bianca seems a very interesting place. Hey Dan, hello and welcome. I want to share one thing with you guys that most of the most of my recent live stream is available in subtitle different language like Portuguese German Arabic Spanish uh, so I try my best after I end the live stream I try to make a subtitle for all this video so for some people are not very good at English so they can turn on the subtitle and enjoy my video it's not possible right now for this particular video it will be available when i will end the video so my previous live stream if you see that you will find different different language subtitle so whatever language you are comfortable you can choose and you can you can enjoy or you can understand what i'm saying so i try that because of my large number of different viewers from different parts of the world they not at good english so yeah they need some sort of translation so i try to do that for you guys so my previous live stream including this live stream when i'll end it would be available in different languages no it's automatic i mean it's translated in portuguese german as i said arabic those are my uh, top viewers so i try to uh, translate in their language so they can at least uh, read what am i saying michael makes it have you ever been close to be hitting by a reckless driver during live stream unfortunately not and hopefully i will not get hit by anyone for sure Janet R with five dollar. Thank you so much, Janet R. Okay, thank you so much, Janet R. Thanks for the support as always. Thank you, really appreciate it. Yeah, Daryl, I I started translated my videos since my few live streamings. Right now, I think I did only four or five live stream my latest live stream those are translated into different languages so yeah uh, I, I, would not like I hope that will help you guys a lot I think now I'll head toward Lexington Avenue or Park Avenue towards that direction and off of second Avenue now let's go toward third Avenue then Lexington Avenue Park Avenue Medicine Avenue and Fifth Avenue. Let's 
let's explore that part i mean now let's head toward which side i mean that direction Ooh, it's a very quiet place, fully residential, mostly townhouse. Yeah, Park Avenue is so fancy, very fancy. But up ahead is Third Avenue, then Lexington Avenue, then Park Avenue then Madison Avenue and then 5th Ave Avenue Thanks Ballon I try my best to say or explain everything yeah, um, as easy way as I can so everyone can understand oh yeah Bob Kish for sure this townhouse cost millions easily because it's Manhattan Jenny M said it March the best time to visit New York I am from France yes March yeah I think late March or the beginning of April it's a quite good time to visit New York City because you can do lots of fun activities here he had uh, a lot of things to do so yeah it's definitely a good time to visit New York City hey Norman Rose hello I think I'll cross the street first towards yeah, that direction and then cross the street. It would be easier. Tani said, What a dream to be living in one of those townhouses. Yeah, but it's not that convenient compared to the houses in Long Island or, or outside of Manhattan because you will have much more peaceful area than Manhattan it's quite busy always honking still it's a good area but if you need some sort of relaxation calm and quiet then you should definitely find a place outside of Manhattan Hey Virginia from New Jersey, thank you so much for joining in. So up ahead it's uh, Lexington Avenue. Tonight live stream I'm taking some sort of different route that I not usually take. So it would be pretty interesting to watch for you guys. Like apart from all this touristy side i will go towards that direction too some touristy area but this is like real new york just strolling around manhattan this is intercontinental hotel right up here lexington avenue Hey Jenny M, hello. 
Janet are saying the stream is playing on my phone but frozen on TV. I think it's your internet issue. Sometimes TV needs some time to reload. That's what I could say. It takes some time, but if you are using your phone, then it's easier because they change the frame rate because I'm streaming into 1080p. So whenever you had a less internet connection, they just switch it to a lower frame rate. So yeah. Yeah, the Waldorf Astoria is right up there. It's under uh, construction right now. Lexington Avenue had a great hotel, some well-known hotel that's on in Lexington Avenue. Yeah, here is that pastry shop you are in. This one is pretty famous. At the corner of East 48th Street and Lexington Avenue. There is one more place right up here as well. Oh wow, look at that. Look at the view of Chrysler building from here. What a shot. The perfect shot of Chrysler building basically. With this deep blue sky, it looks pretty nice. always admire the beauty of this particular building Virginia saying she just watched my walk through Dumbo Brooklyn and enjoyed it oh yeah that is one of my favorite video it was so much fun to explore that particular area hey Carlos hello and welcome so this is 47th Street. I'm heading toward Park Avenue. I'm sure I can learn a lot about the sky is very deep blue tonight. I wonder that too Bob and I hear that maybe they will open but it's not not too sure Bobby said, can't believe that I will see that in real in about 12 days. Enjoy your videos every time. I thank you very much. Wow, Bobby. Pretty happy for you, man. Oh, wow. Look at the unique color of the Hemsley building. It's quite nice. They usually have different color. But tonight is quite unique. This is Park Avenue and 47th Street. Amazing view of Park Avenue.
Manhattan is basically full with different architecture. Like, that's the beauty. Greg said, what is your favorite cheap eats in New York City? Of course, the dollar pizza. That's the cheapest thing you can buy in New York City. This is Hansley building. Hey Bruce, hello and welcome. Hello Darrell. Yeah, Michael makes some halal food cart have their best uh, deal or best food but for the cheapest I think dollar pizza is the best way Virginia saying are you going to Rockefeller Center uh, I'll head towards that direction so maybe I'll stop there but for now my main purpose is to visit Bryant Park in that direction hey Kelly FC hello and welcome This is the entrance for MetLife building. If you need to find Bangladeshi restaurant, then you had to go towards uh, some specific neighborhood in Queens that's dedicated for Bangladeshi foods and restaurant. One is Jackson Heights, another is Hillside in Queens. So you'll definitely find some South Asian food there. Right now, Bryant Park is open, but the ice skating ring is not open. It's closed for this season. They will be back in next season. But as I said, I hear that for the first time in the season, Bryant Park will have a spring market. So I'm pretty looking forward for that. Look at that. This is a brand new observation day in New York City. It's called Summit one vendor build either way we'll get a pretty good view of western hemisphere i mean eastern hemisphere because this is on the east side yeah no so that place is pretty amazing i was went there too on the opening day Hey Mariam, hello from Italy. So next is Madison Avenue. Hey Christine from Long Island. Hey Joe, hello. So this is East 45th Street and Madison Avenue.
Okay, Kelly. Thanks for joining us from London. Appreciate it. the look of some meat or one vendor bill from here Jackie said are they really not checking proof of vaccination at restaurant anymore yeah some most of the restaurant doesn't need that vaccination proof anymore they want to do some business freely Hill is the best in New York City. It depends which one you want to visit. But for my point of view, I will suggest either Empire State Building or some meat. One Vanderbilt, either Rockefeller Center. Both are great. Both of these are great. But it depends which one you want to visit. Hey, Connie E, welcome. Hey Marjorie, good evening. Yeah, decorative scaffolding. So this is the 5th Avenue and 45th Street, the iconic 5th Avenue. And this is our beauty. We are talking about the Empress State Building. It's right there. Hey Mark, hello. Janet said she loved Edge. It scared me just seeing on the TV. Yeah, it, <coughs> excuse me. The Edge is also good, but you can get the similar type of experience from Summit as well. Edge is also good for the Western Hemisphere. That's the tallest building in west Western part of Manhattan. So if you like to see the Western view, western part view of manhattan then that's the great option if you like to see the eastern part then you should check out either place summit rockefeller center or the empress state building but if you want to see the south south part of manhattan then definitely one wall trade center is the best and of course it's it's definitely worth it to take a trip to the one top of the one wall trade center because that's the highest building or the tallest building in New York City so yeah any of them are great hey Jarko hello from Finland thanks for tuning in James say this is so cool I feel like he's my tour guide yes I am officially a New York City tour guide I had that license if I want I can do that as well I had that license too yes Janet I did a stream from top of the World Trade Center I was almost all of the observation deck I had a video from all of them in my channel if you go to the playlist you will find a specific playlist called observation deck in new york city in that playlist you will find all the video from different observation decks in new york city and recently few i mean 
a week ago i was at top of the empress state building it was quite fun experience Store right here at the corner of 43rd and 5th. This is the Chrysler and this is the Summit. Monica said, Thank you, Sarah. I have to check it out. Yeah, sure. If you haven't checked out my observation deck videos, then go to my playlist and you will find a dedicated playlist for all the observation decks in New York City. For example, if you don't like narrative videos, if you just want to relax and enjoy the city sound, then I usually post some videos that are not narrative. I do not talk in that video. I just let you guys enjoy the vibes of the city, the city sound. So yeah, this kind of video is also available in my channel, apart from live streaming. Live streaming, I'm doing for fun, so I can chat with you guys. I can share New York City live and I can answer your question hey Susan George hello from New Hampshire hello so this is West 42nd Street and 5th Avenue hey art official record hello Public Library. And if you're enjoying this video so far, then do not forget to hit that like button for me, so I can understand that you guys are enjoying the walk. So kindly do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, you can consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates video like that from New York City hey Mari from Sao Paulo Mary basically JM Coral saying Bryant Park still closed. Bryant Park is not closed, just the ice skating ring. That area is closed because they are removing that. Other than that, Bryant Park is open. Bryant Park is not closed. You can still go inside Bryant Park. There are plenty of space you can see. Let me show you. Yes, Michael Mick, I use subway every single day to come to Manhattan. Hey Aiden, hi from Long Island. Hello. So as I said that see Brian Park is not closed. Only the ice skating part is closed because they are removing that stuff as you can see right here. Because usually in summer and spring they had a green lawn. But I hear that this year they will have a spring market. Not too sure about that because 
it will be here for the first time but as I say the Manhattan skyline at night from distance is so spectacular indeed it's the best so this is what I mean here used to be the winter market with all the shops and the ice skating ring but it's closed right now as you can see nothing much going on here everything is closed and they are removing all the stuff but still there are plenty of space and this is the new york public library you can see all the lights inside the library so many books are there oh i can see the ceiling right here let me show you it's pretty gorgeous i should definitely go inside that library Uh, Greg says, but where's that building that uh, scared you? It's right here. Uh, this is uh, used to known as the radiator building, but now it's Bryant Park uh, Hotel. This building right here, but it's used to known as a radiator building. It's right here. It's pretty gothic style architecture. I got scared just to see that building it's right there. But now it's Bryan Park uh, Hotel. Oh my gosh, the Bryan Park Cafe is so packed busy. I think some sort of party going on. So much hustle and bustle going on. So lively. No, Virginia, this is Bryan Park Cafe. I'm not too sure, James, about that. I love this chatting sound. Yeah, it's a fancy party for sure, Susan. It's a fancy party. Everyone is dressed well, formal great weather that's quite nice but let them enjoy and we should continue yeah it's a private event for sure because they are checking something and they're giving a badge so yeah definitely a private event we can see the carousel right now it's closed perfect gems this is the building basically it's known as a radiator building but now it serves as a hotel Bryan Park Hotel but you will see the best view from top of the Empress Street building it looks pretty dark scary <laughs> like not so welcoming architecture Kelly Opsi said it's a fantastic library. Oh yeah, New York Public Library is the best. It's the best. Hello, my name's Dean Muddy. What's good? Hey yo, hey yo, this is not Ron. It's not Keith right here. It's not Keith.
this fever tree porch is pretty nice quite lovely and as you see that Bryan Park has plenty of space to see and to chill hey Nicholas hello yeah it's a very pleasant night no Michael Mack hmm. Medicine Square Park had a shake shack not Brian Park Hey Tassos, hello and welcome. Yeah, Virginia, it's a very beautiful fountain. And from here you can see the tip of Chrysler building, some new one gender build, and also you can see the tip of Empress State building. So yeah, it's a pretty good view from here. More and more people are chilling. Hey Damaris, hello from Puerto Rico. Hello. It's quite lovely. Oh yeah, lots of people enjoying this gorgeous night here. And you'll see the vibes would be more packed during spring. Oh wow, what a shot. Look at that. A moon from this barge. Oh, rat, rat, look at that. I found a rat right here. Oh my gosh. That's what I was supposed to mention, that if you're lucky, you will see a rat. Oh my gosh. It's a quite big rat. Damn. Oh, one more right here. Small one. Oh gosh. This one's small. Anyway, the moon, one vendor build, everything is one frame. There are lots of people staying up for no reason. But a view. No, that's not a squirrel, unfortunately. That's a rat. The big one. Connie, he said the big rat following mama. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I love this view. Most of the rats are getting out during night for foods basically. So now we are into touristy area. You will see much more activity, much more people. As you can see, hustle and bustle, yeah. So this is basically 42nd Street and 6th Avenue. Gummy beer said some red are as big as cats and bats. Oh yeah, for sure. And I do see that a lot in subway station a lot of them a lot of them are inside subway station Lisa Bellic say hate red scared her, him or her yeah it's sometimes scary if you see some sort of giant red and definitely scary I mean everyone will get scared Hey Anna, hello and welcome.
this street is always colorful Thank you, so I appreciate. Oh yeah, Bob. Uh, me too. I love the pigeons. They are so cute, and if you had a small amount of food in your hand, they will come and eat that. This is one of the cutest thing you can try to feed the pigeon. The pigeons. They are so cute, and you will love it. You can even feed squirrel in Central Park. They are also very friendly. If you had nard or something like that. They will come to your hand and they will eat it from your hand. I did it few times and it makes me feel so happy. It's a different experience in Central Park. But do not try to feed rats. For sure, they can bite your hand and get away with your finger. If you want to feed, just try to feed some birds and some uh, squirrel. You will enjoy it for sure. Yeah, Virginia, we are checking out Times Square for sure. Why not? That's the reason I'm here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is 42nd Street. And this is Broadway. Yes, yeah, squirrels are very smart. Very smart. Yeah, Itanji, the clock. I mean, they switched the clock yesterday. So now we are dive into the heart of New York City, Times Square. The heart of New York City. All the hustle and bustle in us right here. Indeed, it's a very long walk. I started my video from 77th Street in Upper East Side and now here at Times Square. The reason I love Times Square and roam around this area because I can see different people from different parts of the world, their reaction and how they enjoy this place. Their poses are sometimes unique. Wow, that's the reason I always love to be at Times Square. Yes, Maria, welcome to Times Square. But this place is also full with scammer. So you have to be alert. Scammer like fake monk, CD scammer, photo scammer. So just be aware of that. And you will be fine here. Beer garden is quite lovely tonight. Yeah, Bob, the coast road of the world. Some sort of street performance going on here without any music. That's quite nice. I haven't seen any sort of street performance without a music. So it doesn't have any music. People are gathering here. Just see that. If the red steps is open, then I'll definitely climb up and give you guys the iconic view for sure. But the prob problem is near the red steps, the internet signal is pretty bad. If I had a decent connection then I'll definitely try to climb up otherwise I had to move somewhere else so far it seems to have a pretty decent connection but once I head towards the red step the connection would be start dropping so finger crossed
near the red steps as you can see this will definitely had a pretty tough time is coming I had to move but this is quite rare to get whole street for yourself you Susan George said I wonder what it smells like it smells like weed right now because lots of people are smelling I mean smoking weeds so I smell so much weeds in this area. That's how it smells like. Alright, they're ready. I'm not watching. Smells like weed. No, it's not a fresh air at all. It doesn't have that much car pollution, but you can smell a lot of weed. This is how crowded it is. Oh my gosh. So far, everything seems nice. The internet connection seems stable. So, I'll try now because the internet connection is fine. So let's go and try to see. Hey Robert. It would be pretty tough to go to the top of the ticket stairs because it's packed busy. But since I'm saying that if the internet connection is good, I'll definitely go to the top. So let's go. Okay. Oh gosh. Hey, mighty bull. Hello and welcome. So, this is the view basically you will get from top of the ticket stairs. Quite a lovely night. You guys are enjoying. Yeah, Bob, it's a nice crowd for a Monday night, for sure.
let's go down let's quite enough I can feel those people who are sitting here and spending time because it's their dream to be here in that stairs so now they want to enjoy their time sitting and admire the beauty of Times Square from top of the TKT stairs so yeah hey AD hello and welcome perfect it was very nice but the original purpose for TKT stairs is selling discounted Broadway tickets Yeah, Kony, he, there is always some crowd, some types of crowd at Times Square, always. It doesn't need any sort of occasional like that. Before pandemic, it, it's to be, it used to be much more crowded than this. But I'm glad that the city is coming back. I think I found the right spot to end this video and I will not make this video too long I hope you guys enjoy today's video in whatever reason you guys enjoy this video and see something different from New York City then please hit that like button and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that and I will really appreciate it you are seeing my PayPal and Patreon link so PayPal is a great way if you want to support New York City walking show financially one time you can do so via PayPal and you can also be my Patreon or join YouTube member so yeah that's the best way you can support New York City walking show so yeah and as usual I saying that apart from all this negativity that's happening in the world the best way we can contribute to the world contribute to the society is just to spread positivity because without positiveness it's nothing left we will be destroyed without a positive environment so I will request you guys if you can just try to spread some positive vibes towards you or surrounding you try to do something positive for the society that's all my friend and I will see you somewhere else from New York City. Till then be safe and stay positive. Thank you and good night.